So we have a child in, with an unfamiliar caregiver in an unfamiliar setting who already has a lot of sensory irregularities being given a test that wasn't standardized in children with special needs that stresses the child further. And we often see the child's worst level of functioning. And then the parent is given that feedback, and the parent says, but at home, he can do much better, blah, 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 blah. And the clinician says, come on, stop denying the problem. You're, you're, in, you're in denial, et cetera. Um, and what becomes, what happens is you get a negative cycle with a discouraged parents, a misdiagnosis often because the child is seen under stress. Um, cute little story. A mom who was recently evaluated at the, uh, one of the premier medical centers on the East Coast, I won't say which one, uh, not to embarrass those of you who might be here from that medical center. Uh, but um, the child was diagnosed with a severe form of autism because of all the things that I just mentioned. And the mommy is crying, walking to, the, walking to her car, and was given a negative prognosis that you know, the child would never uh, uh, be able to do very much. And while walking to the car, mommy is crying, and the child, who's a, a four and a half year old child, says to mommy, Mommy, what's the matter? Did they make you upset? What did they say to hurt your feelings? <laughs> <laughs>